Sten, in, in the first quarter, you started your commercialization uh, journey by entering the Indian market by your first sale. Now we are in Q2 and yeah. almost finished here. Can you give us a little bit context on how are, how are this looking? Yes, um, you're right. We, uh, we started uh, our, our actual sales in India in the, in the end of uh, Q1. So Q2 has really been a, a, a quarter for us with a lot of activity in India. And we are, I'm, I'm happy to say that we are very pleased with the progress. Uh, we spent a lot of effort on, on activating all the 350 plus outlets we have in India. So which means basically roadshows and product introductions and, and everything. So, so we, are, we are now at a point where, of course, we are, we are, we are closing the, 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 qu the quarter. We are doing the, the half year result uh, in a few, few weeks uh, in, in, in August. And uh, so I think we are at a really good stage now. And, and, and customer feedback, you know, you are, it's your first market. It's the first time you're meeting your customers. Yeah. Can, you, can you elaborate a little bit on that? Yes. So I think yeah, the, 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 you can say the, the key task we have in India is to introduce this new product category, uh, sort of like an advanced hearable, basically form factor and with the built-in hearing aid functionality. And that's what we have been really spending our, our effort on. And, and what we can see is that people, once they get to understand what this is about, they really find this to be a great solution for kind of like addressing hearing loss and also using it for kind of media consumption, which is very much what we have been aiming at doing. Um, the, the channels, of course, we are working primarily uh, in terms of the business-to-business the -business channel with the professional clinics. So they are hearing experts and they are the ones who has the, the conversation with their customers. But the feedback we're getting really is that, that yes, once they start to understand what this is about, this is uh, something that falls uh, you know, uh, in, a, in a very nice place. Um, f feature wise it comes as you know with all the, the bells and whistles of a hearing aid plus this other functionality and those are the things that people are discovering step by step. We had some feedback also from you can say end users in terms of certain ear sizes uh, in India is slightly different than what we have been sort of thinking about when we have designed it so we are we're making some adjustments to what we actually include in the product package some different ear tips slightly longer and thinner ones and this is kind of like it's it's that kind of feedback we're getting now we're also getting some feedback on uh, from the, the professional clinics on what they like to have of functionality and and we actually just the last week we we announced a, a little you can say add-on uh, where a professional can go in and, and manually input an audiograms kind of uh, numbers so so basically for the individual person uh, a professional can fit this um, manually, so it, it actually addresses different kinds of hearing loss than that we might be able to to, to do ourselves. And, and yeah. the Indian market, a, a lot of talk about uh, slowdown all over yes. uh, emerging market. We're also talking about the uh, COVID-19 lockdowns in, in China, but I don't think it's, it's affecting India. So, so how do you feel that with your value proposition, your cost price? And, and looking into the Indian yeah. market, are you seeing, any, are you fearing any kind of a slowdown or from the from the economic side? No, I, I think of course, just like in in, in the rest of the world, uh, India is subject to, to to different changes following the whole sort of uh, the, the pandemic, but also the, the you can say the situation around with the inflation and so on. Uh, this is not something we are seeing any effect of right now. We have picked our price at a at a level in India which is equivalent to around four hundred dollars. So the, the market we are aiming for right now with, with this offering is, is the market that has got ability to, to invest in, 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 in goods that they feel are important to them. Uh, there's, there's a set of maximum price in India, which is what, what you're doing there. So of course, it might maybe sold at a lower price, but we, we are seeing a very good kind of average selling price from our point of view to our partners. So, so we haven't seen any, any major issues around that on, you know, so far. Um, I would say the, the price point we are at is also attractive. So as you say, maybe in, in, in the sort of face of, of economic adversity, this is not a bad place to be, you know, with an affordable kind of entry level offering in, in, in that segment. I think that's a good place to be. Also, if we're looking beyond India, you know, there are, we, are, we are really looking to maintain the same price point. So when we go to other markets in the future, this certainly is something that I believe will help us. Last year, you, you, you experienced some delays uh, on, on your commercialization uh, due to uh, supply chain issues. Mm -hmm. How is that looking for you right now? Yeah, well, currently it's, it's not a problem for us. We have been uh, focusing on building up a kind of substantial um, inventory um, at the point where we are now having several thousand products 
on the shelf in our office and with uh, our, our, our retail partners in India. So, so right now we are, and we're continuing to do that the coming months so we have enough product for the remainder of the, of the kind of the, this year. And actually, there has been some kind of uh, yeah, good talk for, about uh, supply chain, you yes. know, that the compo- component uh, yeah. uh, issue is maybe falling in prices yeah. and it's not that easy. And China is also going away yeah. from a lockdown. So is that also giving you some optimism that, that there's no problem uh, going ahead? Yes. I mean, of course, chips, you have to order them well in advance. And there are certain long lead items that we have to place orders on like, like three to four months in advance. Chips is actually longer. And we're doing that. So, so w- right now we, we don't see any major issues in, in that regard. Um, freight prices are, are also stabilizing, probably at a, at a quite high level still. But but we also soon starting to uh, exploit uh, kind of travel by sea instead of by 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 planes, you know, flights and so on. So, uh, is what we have been doing till date. Uh, and, and the products are coming into you know the market in in, in in a predictable manner. So I think it's it's pretty it's pretty okay right now. You have announced uh, your t- intention to raise new capital. Can you elaborate a little bit on how that is progressing and, and maybe a little bit on where is this capital going to be allocated to? Which growth initiatives yes. are you going to use the money for? Yes. Yeah, uh, that's a good question. And of course, we have been detailing this uh, some months ago, what we are aiming at. Uh, the, the, the key, you can say, point we are at now is that we have a product in the market. We have to invest more in developing the market in India. We have to develop more, you can say, markets elsewhere as well, like in the US, which we are aiming at. But there is also markets around India that we feel are, are relevant for us to explore. So, so part of this capital raise, I would say around 50% of that is going to go into marketing and sales. So basically driving the, the product out in the market, uh, higher penetration in terms of retail points um, and so forth. So the, the other, you can say, large chunk of this, of course, is new product development for the FDA market in the US, the over-the-counter product. And, but also there's a support and maintenance on the existing offerings. Plus, we are planning variants of this current product we have, the VEN, uh, for, you can say, different markets. So, so there is a, a roadmap, of course, planned that we are now um, gearing up to actually start to deliver on going forward as well as you can say marketing the, the existing product and supporting that in the market. So that's, that's the, the key aim for this, for this coming round. Um, and um, so India is a key part of that, of course, but, but there will be other markets as well that we will start uh, becoming active in. And uh, as a current investor, or yeah. if you are that, there's always the question, is it going to be preemptive, meaning yeah. that, that you will be offered uh, also as an existing shareholder yeah, this, to choose to... This is a round with preemptive rights for existing shareholders. And of course, we, we really hope to, uh, to, to uh, you can say, engage the uh, existing 2,700 plus shareholders we have in this round. But also at the same time, we are looking to really broaden it and, and for example, get more investors in Sweden to, uh, to discover audiences and, and, and join our, our, you can say, our, our road ahead. Um, that, that's, the, that's the aim. Steen, you mentioned uh, looking also at the Swedish shareholder, yeah. trying to broaden the space. Is that actually why you are moving from the first north to the spotlight stock market? Uh, it's one of the reasons. I mean, we have all seen, you can say, in the last six months, the effect of, of a, a market that is changing. We have seen the impact on, on share prices, including ours. Uh, part of that is that there is uh, a lack of kind of liquidity in the small stock exchanges, especially, you can say, in, in Denmark, where the market is not as developed as it is in Sweden due to many reasons. So we have been looking at this and with our advisors, we have begun this journey where we will be changing from first north growth market in, in Denmark to spotlight stock market in Denmark as well, but which is part of this, uh, you could say pan Nordic um, market uh, for kind of um, smaller and medium sized companies um, in particular, um, and with a lot of focus on, on, on kind of life science and, and med tech. So we hope in that process to really broaden the, um, the awareness of audiences to the Swedish market. It's like three times the size of the Danish kind of retail investor market. And I understand there's more institutional investors also playing in that market. And, and we see that as being important for our journey ahead and for our shareholders. I think this would be a really, uh, really good move at a, at a time where you can say you have, to, you have to really be proactive, I think, to, to, to take care of your existing shareholder base, but also looking, looking ahead. Yeah, you mentioned it yourself. It's, yeah. it's not that easy to raise capital right now. Have you been speaking to some larger 
uh, Swedish or Danish uh, institutional investors and and do you think it's possible because actually you are in the right country you know yes. we are well known for hearing aids here yes. in Denmark but but of course Swedish know uh, medtech so so yes, exactly. so how are you feeling and, and your conversation yeah. with, with yeah. different uh, well you can say part of the the, the the early feedback we've gotten is that uh, when we become listed at spotlight we will be really the the only company of our kind with a focus on hearing health and in, in our market. So there isn't a lot of other players in that space. So we will, I believe, have a really good and, and, and kind of vocal profile <laughs> in that sense. Um, I think what 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 everyone is, is saying right now is, is that you, you have to have some uh, growth ambitions that are sensible and where you can uh, you can really convince the market that this is a, this is sort of a, a good place for them to, to be in you know where we are, want to go we would like the market to go with us so that's what we have been starting to explore uh, explore with 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 of course uh, investors in Sweden uh, we are at the early stage we are right now preparing the the prospectus that has to be you can say uh, uh, submitted to the Danish financial supervisory authority for approval in the end so we are in that process and um, we expect that to really be completed in, in the coming months. So in the month of August, I think we'll be in a very good place there. And we'll be starting the, the dialogues uh, just after the, the summer vacation in, in, in more detail.